What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Sectionster once again. And today we are going to be having a look at this image slideshow right here. You can easily navigate through it all the way until the end. So it's an infinity loop. And if you click on one of the things right here, it's directly gonna link you to the link. You chose it to either a product category or whatever you prefer. It really depends on how you wanna use this section. I'm gonna show you how you can customize the pictures, the text, and also the links, and I'll do that in no time. So let's get right into it. The first thing I did for this is that I headed on over to the Shopify app. So where I got the section store app, this is a component library with over 200 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components. And even after installing one of the sections, you can deinstall the app and remain with the section itself. So I think that's quite nice and it's going to keep your store fast and sleek. All right. The one I used for this tutorial is called Slider 2. That's the one you can see right here. It does come with a one time fee of $9. That means if you paid once, you'll also own it forever. You're not going to need an expensive developer to custom code this one for you. And also you can customize it to your liking. So I think those are pretty much really good benefits of it. So yeah, after successfully containing the section, head back to the my section area of the app where you have to install the section to your store first and you do it with adding it to the theme you're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Live theme, but it does work on every theme, so you don't have to worry about that. And then just simply open it up in the theme editor, which I have already done so right here. That's the one you saw in the beginning of the video. If you wanna add it completely from scratch, just scroll all the way down, click on Add Section, and then pick the slider too, and you're gonna end up with a default version like that. I've already saved you some time there and filled it with content, so we don't have to do this again. So that is the one you can see. And if I would want to add a new picture to that, I could just simply hop on here, click on done. And then I could also change the slide. So here we could do some address. And instead of learn more, we can do shop now. And that is the button URL. You can either link it to a product page, blocks, whatever you prefer. And yeah, that's pretty much that. I'm just going to get rid of that and show you some general customization options you can do to the whole thing. And I demonstrate you that by clicking on the main block itself of the one we saw in the beginning. So we can decide how many slides we want to see per view. So if I would put it down to three, it would actually take up more space for one picture. So let's let this load up real quick. Yeah, it's going to be a lot bigger and it does also work on mobile. It is fully responsive. We made sure of that. You have this nice little arrows or you can just swipe through it. So that's a nice way of seeing that. So let's scroll down again. That is the one. You can do also a bunch of customization options like changing the ratio of the pictures. So it's gonna be more square. In this case, the slide overlay means how much shadow actually will be over the images and a bunch of other stuff, but I'm not gonna go into detail too much. You can change all the fonts and also all the colors here are customizable. For example, the slide color, if I would change that to green, you would change to green, but white does make a lot more sense in this one, I think. And yeah, last thing I wanna show you is that I can also change the arrow color. So it's gonna switch to blue. You can slightly see it right here. And also the section background, a bunch of margin and other options, lazy load. So it will just load for speed optimization. So that is one benefit too, to keep your store fast and make them load quick whenever it's necessary. Let's have a final look in the live version, which I will do right now. So we said, take up a bit more space. It's the portrait mode now and the hovering also works perfectly fine. And that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys found that useful. And if you did, always feel free to leave a like and peace out.